On September 2nd, Mark Dodge, a junior linebacker at Texas A&M, stepped out onto Kyle Field for the first time as an Aggie. Long before he wore the maroon and white, Dodge wore a different uniform, a uniform synonymous with tradition and valor. The Old Guard, the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment. Its officers and enlisted men are the elite, selected for their intelligence and athleticism. For nearly four years, Mark Dodge was a soldier of the Old Guard. On the morning of September 11, 2001, Dodge was at the Pentagon, filling out paperwork when he felt one of the world's largest buildings begin to shake. The Pentagon had been hit by American Airlines Flight 77. Instinctively, everybody evacuated the building, and once you got outside, you could see the big plumes of smoke from the other side of the, of the building. Instantly, I, I, I left, went back to my company. By the time the flames at the Pentagon had been extinguished, Dodge and the rest of his platoon were waiting outside. Their job was to recover the dead. You're picking up debris, moving debris, and you find a body here and there, and then you gotta bag the body and take it outside. And I mean, you saw, I mean, pieces in some cases. For two weeks, Dodge performed his grim duties. After came the nightmares and anguish. I sat on my bed and I just started thinking of everything that had happened for the last three weeks. And I, 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 mean, I broke down, cried for a while, just thinking of everything I had saw, and everything I did, and, and, and cried for the families and cried for my family. And it was, uh, it was hard. Soon after 9-11, Dodge decided not to extend his military commitment. He had other plans. He'd been an all-state receiver at his high school in Nevada, but there had been no scholarship offers to play at the next level. More than anything, he wanted a chance to play college football. I just started looking on the internet of what junior colleges are out there, and uh, I probably called 30 different schools. I maybe more. Not a single one called me back. But Dodge kept calling Feather River, a junior college in Northern California. And it was there that he enrolled in the fall of 2004. As a 23-year-old freshman linebacker, he played so well that soon he received several scholarship offers. But a soldier at heart, he decided that Texas A&M, with its military tradition, was the perfect fit. The Corps of Cadets will rally around Mark, and the 12th man will rally around Mark, and Mark's history is, is a perfect fit with Texas A&M's core values and the patriotism that this school stands for. September 2nd, Kyle Field. In his first game, on his first play from scrimmage, Mark Dodge made a tackle in the backfield. What a nice hit by Mark Dodge. On the next, he helped force a fumble. The Aggies went on to win 35 to three. Oh my God, you were awesome, you were awesome. At 25, Mark Dodge is starting over. Five years after 9-11, he's no longer in the old guard. He's nowhere near the Pentagon. And while those darkest hours still come back to him in nightmares, they also inspire him. You see something like that, it gives you a whole new, uh, whole new thought on life. You never know when it can end. You, you gotta take every day as it is. Enjoy every day. I mean, I go out to practice now and just and love every practice for every practice because I know I could be doing something a whole lot worse. 